All right, guys. So today I'm doing a little flannel review, and what I'm going to be reviewing is basically the flannels that we have in stock today. There's still some really great ones coming. Um, I tried to get each one of our core brands, um, and I got a couple that's not on the wall here. Um, uh, anyway, we're going to start with a flathead. We're going to go to UES. We're going to Ironheart. We're going to cover 316. We're going to cover RGT and Reno Cloth. Um, Freno Cloth, I'm gonna show you the Benson, uh, but it's not the ultra heavyweight that's proprietary to Freno Cloth. Um, that'll be coming out here later in the fall. Uh, Freno had a, uh, the Mills do a specific heavyweight denim just for them. It's coming in, uh, this one's a lightweight, but the proprietary will be in this fit and it'll be 11 ounce uh, double brushed really uh, heavy um, but the fit to me is a little bit more boxy all these are going to be tried on with a t-shirt just for convenience I can throw them on over this um, but it's a perfect fit for me like I said a little bit more room in the chest and the biceps and shoulders um, don't have an extreme drop in it this is a large um, all their construction and craftsmanship is on point their buttons are in uh, engraved Freno cloth in tiny font. This is a really, um, I wouldn't say slubby, but a lot of texture in this uh, this white, uh, I think it's called white shadow Benson. Um, but what I love in this one here is the chocolate brown color. Um, I've got some really great chocolate brown um, double knee pants coming from Indigo Ferris soon. I'm excited to wear it together. Um, but let me move on to uh, let's say the flathead um, and uh, show you all what they've uh, been so popular for for so many years. This has a, uh, it's a buffalo check with a herringbone. This is an indigo in green called block check. I'm wearing the 44. One thing I like about the flathead it just it looks like a premium shirt just from the mirror. One thing I like about the flathead is their their placket is lined with a HBT you know herringbone twill uh, placket and uh, collar. The cuff is the same. The cuff's a little bit more narrow than a typical cuff. To me, that kind of gives it a slightly more modern feel. Beautiful piece. Again, this is a 44. I'm about 195. And wow, this is great. So the flathead, especially the westerns, will have a big drop in the waist. Sometimes it's hard for me to model it for you guys. Even the 44 is a little bit slim on me, but their work shirts are spot on for me. Um, I know their denim work in a 44 is one of my favorite denim shirts. Um, so it's got the same feeling, but with a beautiful blue and green uh, block check uh, flannel. And you can't, I don't know that anybody else here has that, that black herringbone uh, twill, you know, interior lining. So that to me is a cool detail and a cool feature. With that brushed interior is beautiful as well. All these pieces are great for their own in their own right. Um, I'm just kind of showing y'all what what I like and what I'm picking up on. Uh, next, let's do the UES. Uh, I'm a size four in the UES, and I think I screwed up. I didn't put it aside. So let me uh, talk about them while I unbutton this. So this is a Japanese flannel. And it's coming in at a pretty um, inexpensive price range, not quite as much as the others. I think we have this one listed as $220. Uh, but don't, uh, don't count it out. It's, it's not because it's uh, any less than the others. It's a beautiful 
kind of a rose pink color with a dark wine and then a mocha and a white. Um, this is going to look really what look really good with the Frito Cloth Bar Pacinos that are coming in any day now. Wow, this just feels great. A little shorter than the flathead. Feels like I have a little bit more room in the chest and the armpits. And man, that four is just spot on for me. Um, I've got it paired with the 634s and a 35, kind of my loose straight leg jeans that I like. Uh, all that flathead, I'd almost wear that to, you know, a little bit dressier. This can be casual, a little bit more casual down. And this is one of my favorite colorways. I love this uh, rose pink. And the length of it's just great for me. Uh, side gussets, like I said, the fits on point. I'm a four in this. Right. Next one I'm going to show you guys is no stranger to the game is 316. But they have switched it up a little bit on us. Their flannels are produced in India now. Which they brought us a flannel that I think it's one of their best flannels to date. Um, it's interior is brushed. And the exterior, the only way to explain it is maybe that it feels like a sashiko. Uh, beautiful piece. And my extra larges are already sold out. This is a large, it's a little bit snug in the chest. So I'm not gonna button it for you guys. Um, but I wanted to make sure that y'all saw um, the differences. So it's a little slimmer than like say the number four um, UES or the uh, 44 the flathead um, but I would have kept an extra large. I actually had brought it home but still in the plastic and somebody scored it. I thought I'd taken it out of inventory. Um, but anyway this large is close to fitting. I guess I can button it just to show y'all. It might I might could squeeze it in without a t-shirt but uh I would recommend an XL if you're my size. Got a little pull here in the chest. Length's good, um, but just a little bit more slender fit. The texture's amazing. Probably the 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 best grain we've got in the uh, flannel so far. Got that cross back yoke. Just a signature 316 piece, and it's a perfect fall color. Um, but hit us up. These are also 220. Oh, great pricing on a, a heavy flannel. And these also are uh, about a 12 inch, sorry, 12 ounce uh, flannel. So it's really nice and heavy. Um, so next I want to show y'all what's releasing uh, Friday night at midnight. Um, I don't know the date today, to be honest with you. And I think my date on my phone's off. Swap phones too often. Oh, my phone, my watch. Swap watch is too often. All right, again, I'm gonna. I'm in between the large and XL on this RGT Western. Um, I can show y'all the XL as well. Duncan, are you busy? You mind grabbing me the uh, RGT XL? You can get it. In, uh, give, go ahead and give me the other color. All right, so it's a little snug and a, with a T-shirt. I think I'd probably be fine without a t-shirt, but I do get a little pull here. I'm about 195 right now. The length is nice. The side gussets with the chain stitch runoff. It's a nice heavy weight flannel as well. Herringbone, very bright, pretty uh, flannel. It's gonna be great for the holidays. Nice bright colors. Um, always loved uh, RGT's flannels. That cool yoke, that kind of slopes down. I've seen that in some military uh, CPO shirts in the past. Um, and we got this, uh, you know what they're calling it? Oh, I do not. I'm blank, guys. I'm sorry. I'll catch up to speed on it. Uh, but it's got a, a nice bright yellow, but it's paired with like a, a brownish, you know, it's all herringbone. So it kind of blends in there. An ombre color. 
uh, in black, and the black actually kind of fades into a brown. Let me throw that on for you guys. Show you all the difference in the XL and the large that I've got on right now. Heavy Western, okay. Gold plaid and blue plaid. Keeping it simple, guys, gold and blue plaid. Oh man, it feels good. A little bit larger on me, but if I wanted to do a warm soap, I think I'd get that half size down and get my sizing just right. Hopefully one of you guys leave me a large in either color. I mean, I'm sorry, an XL in either color. I think, I, like I said, I think I can do a warm soak and get that sizing spot on. Comfortable shirts, medium to heavier weight, beautiful colorways. Love uh, an ombre uh, flannel. Yeah. Back yokes, typical Western yoke. Front, shoulders, kind of dip down. And I uh, always loved uh, RGT's Westerns. Notice this is a button instead of snaps. I'm not sure uh, the motivation there, but if you're not a snap guy, this does, does have a, a button on it. All right, last but not least, we're gonna cover the Ironheart UHF. I chose the Western. Um, the Western for me is probably my favorite. I like a snap button as a welder. Buttons, I'll burn up a thread on a button in a hurry. Not that I'm welding this flannel, but I just kind of grew up wearing snap Western denim shirts while I was working. And this is uh, this is my go-to. Why, right, grab me a, a double X in this Western. Make sure it's a Western. All right, oh, you can My welder helper. Watch him come back with a work shirt. All right, again, this XL, a little snug in the chest right here. Again, I'm wearing a T-shirt, but I'd go up to a double X in this baby. The link's nice, no gusset, just a nice smooth, rounded edge. Typical Western back yoke. It's got a, uh, they call it a sax blue. So it's got like a brown in it, but it also has a maroon wine color. And then the off white. You got me a double X or XL? Double X. Perfect, dude. My keys are on my desk, or actually on this cut table. So this is a double X and uh, just get with me on sizing guys because these vary, you know, um, yesterday the Wabash was a large. So I went from a large Wabash and an extra large, loose, comfortable to all the way to a double X in this Western. So um, don't be hesitant, don't, don't be shy, hit us up. We don't mind helping y'all out. We'd rather get you dialed in the first time. Let's save some shipping, save, uh, everybody some time get you dialed in for perfect because i know some of you guys are are pushing it to have for saturday night uh for dinner for photos whatever you're needing it for uh, we want to get you dialed in the first time make it easy for you um but we're here to help man we're offering the best service available we upgrade everybody to two-day shipping um any, anything you need hit us up make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel there'll be more videos like this and uh stay following uh, share it with your friends, family, anybody you think you guys would be interested in a, a men's clothing store. We appreciate y'all's support, guys. Thanks.